Hey, Cancer. Sorry, I've been gone for a couple of days. Maybe a day or so. I'm not sure. But anyway, I'm going to try to post your readings uh, on a daily basis. But YouTube has been making me so mad. Sorry. Those cards tried to come out. Um, Nine of Swords, Six of Cups, Seven of Wands, Page of Wands, Eight of Swords, and Strength. Um, so Nine of Swords is sad. This is just quick, real quick. Um, remember, red hearts if you made it through, purple hearts if it resonates, green hearts if you're working on it. And I'm just doing this. We're going to start over. I'm not going to go ahead and take these. I'll just tell you what the energies is that came out. Nine of Swords energy is... Um, Sorry, I'm having a brain freeze. It's like stress and anxiety and feeling hopelessness. Um, this is here. That's the energy that somebody could be going through. We have the Six of Cups energy here. Six of Cups is romance, love, nostalgia. Um, this could be some type of uh, memories. Could be just you trying to get through something. And we have the, six, the Seven of Wands. So, uh, yeah, I'm just doing this really quick. So... I didn't get in my shuffling, so that's what tried to come out. So Nine of Swords is saying here, it says, Your thoughts do not have power over you. Control them. Let them go and make peace with your mind. So this is the reason why, like I say, I created my Empath Oracle deck because this energy here, you know, our uh, our thoughts and our being empaths can have take a huge effect on the way that we do things on a daily basis. Remember, live in the now, Page of Wands energy. Yesterday is history, tomorrow's a mystery. The only thing that's real is the present moment, so enjoy it. So uh, your thoughts are uh, causing you to overthink and to feel sad or in an energy of... Um, uh, not necessarily depression, but it could be. I don't know. Take what resonates. Like I said, these cards just popped out. I wanted to give you something, and I'm going to go ahead and reshuffle them out. So happiness lives for as long as you uh, keep uh, alive the perfection of your memory. So your memories are causing you to stay happy. And that's where sometimes, well, I had to learn not to, to kind of, okay, so... When I go back and I look at the things that I did as a child or as, uh, you know, in, in my younger days, uh, not like I'm really old, but when I did certain things, those were the memories that was like, oh my God, sorry, my grandbaby's in the back. But anyway, those were the memories that kept me kind of going and happy and, you know, like keeping faith into a person. But um, when you do that, you hold on to something that's no longer. You hold on to those energies. So that's why I'm always in the Page of Wands energy. At least I try to be. I'm not perfect. Yesterday is history. Tomorrow's a mystery. The only thing that is real is the present moment. So enjoy. Enjoy your present moment. So um, I was watching, what was it? I think it was, um, it's called I Am Athlete. And Deion Sanders was on there. He said, uh, listen to this. He says, are you at peace when you don't get what you want? That was what he said. Ask yourself that question. Then we have the seven of wands energy, right? Seven of wands energy. It's like, it's important to stand your ground, especially when you are in a position of advantage. So again, it's not like taking advantage of where, uh, another person is or, or like, um, feeling a certain way but sometimes like I say this energy of why we keep going back and keeping these relationships and friendships and family members that no longer serve us that we know it you know it's like it's okay with the seven of wands energy like I say it's like um victory it's hope and it's feeling like you have to defense defend something you know so it could be either or then we have the page of wands did I not say that did I not? I didn't even see this, right? The page of wands comes out. Remember, that's why I say you cannot live in the past. You cannot live for the future. You have to live for today. And that is where, um, where I'm at with this part or whatever. So this is not an actual read. I'm going to go ahead and get into this, but somebody needed to hear this. So let's say my affirmation that I, uh, I put together from the game of life and how to play it. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, the negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, and heartbreak. Because a lot of our, our, our heartbreak comes from the people that we trust and we love. So again, Page of Wands energy. I just said this and I've been saying it. I didn't even see the cards that came out. You didn't, you know, you didn't either. You see that the strength card is up here. But 
Anyway, yesterday is history, tomorrow's a mystery. The only thing that's real is in the present moment, so enjoy it, right? So that is the energy that you're in. Remember, the sadness can come from you holding on to a memory, but feeling the same thing that you have to be defensive of why you keep dealing with a certain person, place, or thing. But remember, live in the now, not in the future, because yeah, this energy is causing someone to have the Eight of Swords um, energy, which is overthinking. Like I said, remember, when we get to overthinking, uh, being self-critical, and feeling trapped in whether it's a friend whether it's a friend whether it's a family member and nine times out of ten cancer it's a family member that can cause you to feel um like you have to be there you don't have to be there i'm not saying walk away i'm saying to you you know sometimes you have to let go of that energy that's no longer serving you remember i now let go of worn out conditions conditions of lack doubt hate negativity procrastination stagnation sadness generational curses debt and bad energies the generational curses could come from you knowing that this has happened before and it keeps happening and it's something that nobody is addressing cancer we address we try to at least address everything especially when we get to the energy of us blowing up but when we have to over think a situation then that's that's where we kind of come in my son is talking hold on i'm recording sorry so that is when we have to be strong in order to make a decision remember i was saying about the page of wands being here i said the page of wands was here well i didn't say it was here i was just giving you the analogy of yesterday is uh yesterday is history tomorrow is a mystery the only thing that's real is the present moment so again the eight of swords energy is causing you to feel like you're overthinking again i cannot make this up on how these cards come out this was meant for someone to hear this you know sometimes you have to and you don't have to totally cut a person off but you have to cut them off when it comes to their energy being bad you can't keep going off of the memory of how you guys were when you were kids or what um it should be so this could be person place or thing it could be a business it could be something when it comes to you having having to having to sorry when you having to have strength in order to deal with the person you know and that is sad but it's the it's the truth when it comes to certain things you know so strength is having courage passion and vitality when it comes to you know you dealing with the situation it also could mean calm control that soothes the situation so you've been trying to soothe the situation for a while and it's not working for you you know it's not working and it's not not doing anything but hurting you temperance is here at the bottom of the deck moderation sensibility so you can deal with this person place or thing with uh um, in moderations you know because it's not serving you anymore i'm gonna pull because of this i'll go ahead and like i said this wasn't supposed to be a read i'm gonna go ahead and take this um and I'll write this down, Cancer, because both of them is like, you know, you are dealing with, you know, learning how to deal in moderations with things that no longer serve you. And I know I should write this down. So I'm going to uh, Cancer first read because this is a reading, actually. Um, moderation on uh, old memories live in the now right so having moderation on the old memories the things that keep you going so uh time yeah because time is on your side but you have to do this when your own time i can't tell you this is the completion is at the bottom of the deck i can't tell you when this situation to be over i'm telling you i go through this all the time with my family you know and it's like why do i still stay around you know it's like sometimes and that's just only sometimes they don't you know and it's, it's not to be rude or to say, but everybody is out for themselves, but not us, Cancer. We're in the six of, uh, excuse me, the queen of uh, pentacles, or excuse me, queen of wands energy. Um, no, no, no. I said that wrong. Queen of pentacles energy. Um, and JDS Tar Tarot said um, that a queen of pentacles energy can always be like, it says, here's an analogy, not his. A loving family is one of the greatest blessings in life. Protect and care for them no matter what. But he also said that the queen of pentacles energy can come as the six of pentacles as well in so many words, like giving to others wholeheartedly before you expect to receive the same yourself. That's trying to fix everybody. Queen of pentacles is you like, regardless on who it is family friend or whatever you try to fix everybody and see the best in it which is the queen of cups energy be which is our energy cancer be someone who makes everyone feel important look through their eyes and make them feel understood we have that energy we're empaths we're nurturers you know we're always in the high priestess 
um, Empress energy, you know, and so with the Queen of Cups being there, which is our card, those make sense if you can go ahead. Remember, red hearts if it made it through, purple hearts if it resonates, green hearts if you're working on it, because there is a completion with how you do things, and you're doing things in moderation. You took your time in order to try to understand a person, and that's why the Temperance card is here, because you cannot fix everyone. You cannot see the good. I mean, you will see the good, which is the Queen of Cups energy in everyone that you're dealing with. However, it's causing more of a, um, a heartbreak for you. And so that's why I say these are the energies that when I get to this point of completion, it's because this has been taken for granted. My energies have been taken for granted. And this is how I feel in the Nine of Swords and Eight of Cups energy. You know, uh, no, excuse me, Nine of Swords and Eight of Swords energy. Sorry. But again, Page of Wands energy. I have to live in the now and know what's happening. I can't keep going back towards the past and saying this is... Uh, why I do this, you know, this person was good at the beginning. Everybody is good until they show their true face or their true um, Their true nature of who they really are and some people um, Just hate to say it some people can't get to this uh, point to where they aren't hold on one second They're downstairs. I don't know why they're texting me um, You know, I don't know when they why they can't get to the point to where they're actually um I'm recording. Goodbye. Um, that's my big head daughter-in-law. She's messing with me because she knows that I'm recording anyway. So, you know, they get to the point to where you are trying to, um, um, you know, you're trying to see the good in everyone with the uh, Queen of Cups energy. And we do overall. We can tell your energy in the 5D without you even saying anything or we feel a certain way. But when we get to this point to where we have to have a completion or know that time is just done, you know, it's over with, then that's where we are, you know, in this situation. So I'm going to go ahead and like I said, I didn't really want this to be a read. I'm going to clarify the Nine of Swords for my Cancer. You know, why are you feeling this way? Should I take these? Yes, I will, because they turned over. You have the four of wands. Once you get out of this situation, the four of wands energy comes. It says, take time uh, out to celebrate your stability, joy, and happiness and friends and family. So sometimes you can't, you, you can, we make our own families. And sometimes it's just to the point to where, you know, our actual families, and this could be, I don't know if I want to say family members or just old energies, you know, like we take the time out, you know, to see the good in everybody and try to celebrate but when we go into that hermit mode and feel this sad way we just start to look at everything we overanalyze everything and this is the four pinnacles energy right four pinnacles and regular tarot is like uh, limiting or conserving your energy to me this is how i see this read you're conserving your energy on how you do things maybe i should name it that see look at that you see how conserving your energy energy yeah you're conserving your energy and then we have the knight of cups energy because when you conserve your energy then you can come and it's like always follow your heart it'll never lead you astray because it knows things your minds can't explain with the knight of cups energy so this energy here is like you know that you don't nobody has to explain to you the way these person places or thing look the strength card came out again so you know nobody has to explain to you what's going on you actually see it even though maybe ouch i feel like I mean, even though you know your friends could have said something to you, but that's not the case. You're not, you know, you're not going off of what somebody else's energy is. You've taken time. Now you're healing from this and you understand and it's a completion. It's time for you to start setting boundaries, Cancer, you know. So the strength card is out twice. So the strength, and let me give you the analogy of that. Strength is not always physical. Your patience, compassion, and gentle spirit is what makes you strong, not the sharpness of your words. But when we get to that point to where we're using our words, because we don't understand and we can't get to the point or the realization on why people are so hard, uh, hard and hurt, you know, hurtful, you know, hurt people, hurt people. But that's why we give you the Queen of Cups energy and you, we give you that chance. So I say to everyone, if I, if, if I cut you off, you gave me the scissors. You handed me the scissors because here it is, the Eight of Wands energy is here and in regular tarot eight of wands is like travel movement and communication so you're communicating with the things that are no longer serving you and so to some it might not you know it might be um what is it it might be hurtful but 
oh well this is where you are right now you know this is where you are and i'm not trying to be hurtful but remember um what was it the strength card strength is not always physical your patience compassion and gentle spirit is what makes you strong not the sharpness of your words but when we've been strong enough and we've been dealing with and keep giving you um you know um when we keep giving you the um you know the benefit of the doubt and trying to um get to the point where uh we are we're trying to figure out you know i guess when this completion will happen this is the energy that we're in we're trying not to use our sharp the sharpness of our words because cancer you know our words can hurt our hurt our words can hurt and it can crush so let's say this again our affirmation i now let go of worn out conditions of lack doubt hate negativity procrastination stagnation sadness generational curses debt and bad energies and if you need to include heartbreak heartbreak and so this is where we are but don't get us in the queen of swords energy standing up for ourselves always speaking your mind and not taking shit from anyone because in that in that uh, moment then that's when the strength card where we're not using the sharpness of our words where our words is starting to come out and people don't understand that but then we're in the knight of wands energy as well so knight of um let me make sure i stand that the knight of wands energy is like you only live once this is a drake energy to me you only live once so be bold be fearless and do what you love so that's where we are in this situation you know we're we're not holding on to those memories anymore they're there we still love you for who we thought you were but you showed us your true nature and so since you showed us your new, true nature there has to be a completion on how we start to set boundaries and stop you know feeling like this is a trapped energy so the eight of swords energy let me just say the analogy to you it says the only limits uh the only limits to self-empowerment are those that you place on yourself remember that right these that you place on yourself so you can let people's energies stop you from doing the things that you need to do nine of swords energy remember your thoughts do not have the power over you control them let them go and make peace with your own mind because remember the thoughts of the six of cups energy which is happiness lives for as long as you keep uh, in alive the perfection of the memory but you can't keep holding on to the memory of who this person was when it was good times you have to understand what people when people show you who are who they are believe them and so you have to understand that when it comes to the six of cups energy you are holding on and we do that because that that memory and that energy of us being an empath and a nurturer and also a queen of pentacles trying to fix people and their issues that they have and that you see without them having to say it and that's why they keep coming around because your energy is too good cancer and that's uh, uh, that's why we're always in the Queen of Cups energy in the beginning, and we're gonna always do that. You know, we we just don't cut people off just to do it. You know, it gives you. We, we have to we have to really understand that it's a disrespect coming in remember i keep going back to the analogy of how 50 cents cuts someone off and how wendy williams does and the reason why i say that is because they're public figures you know wendy williams is very you know she she seems hard on the outside but she's soft on the inside and like i say it took her years in order to go through something but not when she was disrespected but when she was embarrassed is when she actually cut that person off when they publicly embarrassed her when her husband publicly embarrassed her you know but overall she's up forth you know up front she's caring she could try to have a snap towards her and also just listen to um you know like like when you're going through something cancer when we go through something if you look at the news that just happened now the girl tabitha beautiful soul that comes and you know what she shows us remember let me say this to you because this is what i heard from Deion sanders as well he said be care be careful uh who you call a role model because a lot of these models are just here playing roles you get it so i thought that was so good as well so i think i might put that somewhere but i'm gonna go ahead and clarify this eight of swords energy because yeah cancer you know like i was saying okay all of these cards came out and i'm not i'm not taking all See, this is it i'm trying to fix everyone right and it's okay you need to hear this so this is where you should have been you you want to be is what you dreamed about the things the memories of who this person was or is or who you know why why you really want to bring this person with you you know throughout because the beginning memories are there and you keeping this memory alive but here it is this is the energy that you're in you know this love part has to be eliminated when it comes to 
their respect for who you are if that makes sense so these memories have to somehow go on the back burner and you can respect them for who they are but you have to let them go for what what they're doing if that makes sense so excuse me eight of swords energy i burped i'm sorry eight of swords energy is uh comes out clarification with the king of wands and i'll just read you the analogies and let you know a true leader leads from the heart and inspires others to do more dream bigger and be better so remember we're trying to look and see the best in everyone at that same point this is our energy here because that person that you're trying to put all your all into person place or thing or persons you are trying to be a, a, a true leader that leads from the heart and inspires everyone to do to do more dream bigger and be better however this energy here is not where it is here it is again the six of cups energy right six of cups and and of course we're gonna get repeat we might we might not i don't know let's let's just look at it as it goes you know six of cups energy is the same here the same energy here you know i didn't clarify the six of cups but it's saying the reason why we feel this way is because we're holding on to a memory we're holding on to a memory of a person that doesn't really you know it's not really in that same energy as us so here's the emperor right upholding order through leadership so again you're a leader you you know you say something you lead and everyone will follow and that's just that you don't put your energy into telling explaining why you feel like the need of a person to come towards you or come and follow the thing with the things that you're doing you lead by example once you get to this energy of knowing that you cannot wait for someone based upon the memories of who they were um, to come towards you or do the things that you want to do you have to lead by example you have to lead and sometimes you have to lead uh, when you're in hermit mode and that's the best way to do it because here it is ten of wands here burdens you know so you want everybody to come with you but everybody can't but the ones that will come with you are the ones that are okay with sharing your burdens lightening your load and leaning uh, and learning to delegate that's what you have to do is lighten your load load share your burdens and learn to de delegate you don't have to do this alone but you have to choose your tribe that comes with you if that makes sense so then we also have the world energy the world card is the completion of wholeness change of place you know so this completion is here again so it comes to Twice, you know the completion is here because now you know what it is that you have to do in order to lead look at this I didn't take that out okay well there you have it that's where you can get it okay I'm gonna put this to the side so yeah you didn't have to lead because in hangman energy hangman is like this is the energy that we're in when we love a person and we want them to come with us and we want to give them our all. This is the energy that we're in, willing to surrender to an experience or situation. That is the energy that we're always in. Also, the hangman energy, uh, another, another analogy is, let me find it. Oh, here it is. When it feels like there's nothing you can do, let go of your resistance embrace the state of pause and uh try to see things from a new light so that's what we always we turn around we always do that we're always trying to figure out why is it that this person is still in our life but sometimes it stops you with the ten of pentacles it stops you from having the ten of pentacles not with the ten of pentacles share your riches with your family and enjoy the material success you've tried to do this and if you're in a, a point of leadership this is ha it has to stop it has to stop when like i say the wendy williams energy you know she was remembering how it was when she was you know uh in the dirt if that's how you say um, meaning meaning when she first started years ago when she first met her husband right she kept holding on to that but at the same time once she got to this completion mode of saying that I can't bring you with you with me because and that's what she was trying to say so I kind of understood what she meant when she was talking about Tabitha I kind of understood that in a way because remember when you go through things you put your energy on what you went through on everyone else's in so many ways right you remember how it was in the beginning does that make sense I think that should make sense I think I'm gonna make this an individual read so you put your energy on how it was in the beginning but remember when you do your all and which cancers we do it's not a financial thing for us it's always gonna happen it's always gonna come and I think that's kind of what she was saying it but it seems like because she went through it publicly you know it's like it seems like she's trying to cut you know and stop the blessings of somebody else but that wasn't the case i don't i don't think it's the case i just think hurt people know what it feels like to give your all and when you have to ask somebody an opinion um they say what they see 
And you can't judge, you can't do that instead of her because she's still going through it. And that's basically what Tabitha said. You know, Queen of Cups energy, be someone that makes everyone feel important. She did that. Look through their eyes and make them feel understood. She did that with her husband. But again, she's not in this energy right now. She's in the Queen of Swords energy. Stand up for yourself. Always speak your mind and don't take shit from anyone. That's the energy she's in because she's hurt. And that's basically what Tabitha was saying, if that makes sense. You remember what I said? Red hearts if you made it through purple hearts if it resonates and green hearts if you're working on it because see when we have when we go to a similar situation we do live in the past you know page of wands energy yesterday is history no it's never history for us that's the reason why we hold on to these blessings right so then we have the full card but when we get to this point where there's new beginnings that's why there's a completion and that's what that's what tabitha said to her um when you start to feel what i felt and you don't go through something where you're doing this solely on your own, you'll understand that leaps and bounds are okay. You know, it's being spontaneous, you know, and doing things for who you know has your back. You know what I'm saying? Who you know sees your vision and saw your vision and didn't give up on you wholeheartedly, no matter how long it took. Does that make sense, Cancer? And that's all we want. That's all we want. But when it comes to a when it's when it comes to us having this new beginning and taking this new leap, right? This is scary for us. So we go into hermit mode, right? We go into hermit mode and we start to feel like, oh, we can't trust anyone. Oh, everything that kind of comes out of our mouth is kind of negative. So we don't really say things. Now we, we come into hermit mode and we go in our shell, right? So that's why we're true cancers because that energy of that is what it is. And so the empress is because we care for others. We care for others. We have the empress, we have the emperor here. So we care for others. So it's just like... Um, uh, you know, creation. We want to create and we want to we want to have this energy of the things we want to give this to everyone. And that's what that's what she was saying. So I get it. I get I understand what she is, but she's in a hurt position right now. So she's saying you see and you want them to to retire this person, you know, and then when their dreams don't work out, they do it the wrong way. Uh, they 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 tell you it's your fault. So this is what we see when we're trying to fix everybody, you know, but Empress here and so when it comes to, you know, uh, professional energy here, it is like we can go to 50 cents. He's like uh, He said it with G unit. I hope this resonates with you uh, Remember red hearts if you made it through purple hearts if it resonates green hearts if you're working on it So he said this with G unit. He said I everybody every one of his uh, People on his label he gave them the opportunity of his fame and let them try to do it But it was them that didn't move forward. So, you know, uh, this is the Emperor you're nurturing you try to make things um, uh, You know create create a better person again um where is it at? Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, a loving family is one of the greatest blessings in life. Protect and care for them no matter what. That's the energy that we're in, right? And at the same time, when we try to do that, remember JDS said that the Queen of Pentacles can be kind of toxic because we, not necessarily toxic, I'm saying that in the wrong way, but take how it, you know, take it how it resonates. We try to fix everybody where it can become toxic and hurtful for us because we don't get out what we put in and it's okay because we know the universe is gonna bless us, Six of Pentacles energy, right? But we 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 overly do it until we get to this, you know, uh, nine of uh, swords energy and eight of swords energy where we feel sad, trapped. But here it is, the three of swords, and there's heartbreak. So our heart is broken when we don't when we over nurture a situation, and that's what the Queen of Pentacles does and the Queen of Cups because we see the good in everybody. You know, I salute the divinity in you is what the book, The Game of Life, says when it when um, they said that in the Indian, and I'm just uh, giving you my perception of what it said in the book. Um, the link is in the description box. Uh, also, I think I'm going to start putting the link from uh, to another person. It's a person on YouTube who read the chapter of love uh, from the game of life. And understand when you give a perfect love, you have to receive a perfect love. And in order to bless a situation or a person that's no longer in in this in, that's in this energy of no longer serving you, you bless them wherever they are. I'll, I'll try to do that if I can remember. But anyway, so the Three of Swords energy is here. 
Three of Swords is like finding a way out. It's liberation and it's heartbreak. So, you know, that's what she, that's what Wendy Williams did. She found her way out. I know I'm skipping back and forth from person to person, but 50 Cent's found a way out. Wendy Williams found a way out. And both of their ways out was, you know, them having this talk radio show. Well, him, her, Wendy Williams, having a talk radio show where she was all in people's business. Same thing. It was just a little bit more harsher if you were of a particular age and could remember uh, from the headlines, she was real harsh when when she said things. She just went into Queen of Swords energy, um, and you know, uh, spoke her always spoke her mind. You know of what she felt like she should be saying, but she didn't. But that gave her stardom. It also did the same thing for Fifty Cent. So I always give their analogies of that. But it also is heartbreak, and they don't show you this. We don't show our heartbreak. Um, uh, publicly we show it by us going in hermit mode and us not answering the calls and us not doing certain things so cancer this was meant for us to hear you remember red hearts if you made it through purple hearts if it resonate green hearts if you're working on it so here is the star energy right so the star energy is here it says no matter what the situation you find yourself in there is always hope have faith be optimistic and focus on self-care so that's where it all turns back around to is you focusing on self-care because here it is the queen of swords and i didn't even see that the queen of swords energy is at the bottom of the deck standing up for yourself always speaking your mind do not take shit from anyone else this is the energy that we always end up in in the long run because once we get to this point of there's a completion this is the energy that we have to be in in order for us to feel like we have the strength twice come out remember we have the strength to deal with any situation so we are hesitant our friends our friends and and if you hear uh wendy williams say some people are her friends in her head and then some people she's like no when they offer to be her friend she's like nah 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 because it's scary it's scary to be able to trust someone else or to be able to give somebody because we're not giving anybody a piece of our love you can have a piece of my okay anyway i can't sing so you know that energy that piece of our love no we're gonna give you our whole heart we're not just giving you a piece we're giving you our whole heart and if you break that and put us in this energy of you know heartbreak where is it at right here you know, we might journal about it, you know, we might talk to whoever we hear or whoever we can resonate with. And that's why you're here resonating with some of the things that we're, we're, we're talking about is because, you know, my journey is for us to heal and understand why we get to these energies because we know that we repeat things. We know that we go through the same type of relationships or friendships every time because we give everything to a person. There's no boundaries with us. And it's okay. You know, it's okay. But what come, becomes a problem is when we can't talk about what the what those energies are or what those issues are with somebody that we can trust that won't use it against us. And that's the reason why I say the things that I see in the cards because the energy of what we're going through is hard for us to tell our friends. It's hard for us to tell our family. It's hard for us to tell, you know, someone else, but it's better for us to tell a stranger that can't use it against us, that don't really know us. So that's why we all look for a different way of seeing things, which is a hierophant energy, you know, different traditions, you know, different types of healing, you know, um, uh, conforming to traditional institutions. So it's a different type of healing, you know, uh, and that's why we go into that. You know, we trust into and we use the wisdom from, you know, a higher power, which is these cards right now, which we see and we're reading the cards. We're not trying to say that this is what is going to happen. We're not magicians. We have magician energy. We can manifest the things by using our words. Let's say our, our affirmation. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, and heartbreak, right? heartbreak so that's why i say because we give so much of our energy that when it when it's taken from us in the wrong way you know and it happens over time time is here at the bottom of the deck when it happens over time you know then this is the energy that we're in uh is the uh where she go queen of swords energy when we start to feel this way remember the star card is no matter what the situation you find yourself in, there is a there is always hope. Have faith, be optimistic, and focus on self care. So this is the energy that that Wendy Williams should be in, which she is. But if you look at how everything within this last year or two has uh, hurt her so bad that her her energy started to fall apart, and you could see it. Then she passed out. You know whatever that that was happening with her and her. You know now she has a lymphedema. Not saying that this caused it, but when you start to have um, 
um, and I, and again, I'm not a doctor, so I'm just saying energy wise, you could start getting sick, making yourself sick by you focusing on what the pain is. So you have to move in the now. Remember, Page of Wands energy, which came out, remember, somewhere in here. Page of Wands energy is yesterday is history and tomorrow's a mystery. The only thing that is real is the present moment. So enjoy it. Work on yourself, Cancer. And that's what the star card is telling you. And that's what the high priest is saying. But also remember um, what card came out. Do, 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 do. I got to think about the card that came out that said, um, I think it was over here. I think it was about, anyway, I can't think of it. But what I'm trying to say is the one that said, um, oh, the sharpening of your word, the strength card. Strength is not always physical. Your patience, compassion, and gentle spirit is what makes you strong, not the sharpness of your words. So remember, that's what's been making us strong. Um, but again, you can use the sharpness of your words, but remember what you give out, you will receive back. Um, so remember the game of life. I'm going to put the link in the description box. So remember, time has run out on this situation. Take what resonates. I'm going to end this read and turn back around and do another one because this, the way the cards flew out, I felt like it wasn't, well, it was meant for somebody to hear this and that's why I took it that way. So there you have it. Use the moon energy. Always trust your intuition. Be warned that nothing is as it seems. Learn to distinguish between illusion and reality. Learn to distinguish between the memories of the past. And this is what time, this is where time comes in. The memories of the past and the now, not the future. All right, you guys, work on you. If you work on you, you'll heal towards the future. And remember, uh, again... It says, Deion Sanders says, are you at peace when you don't get what you want? Always remember that. Ask yourself that question. Are you at peace when you don't get what you want? All right, you guys. Have a nice day.